guys, I'm going to go ahead and film a video on how I've been doing my makeup lately. Um, I've been pretty busy. As some of you might know, I just had a baby about two weeks ago. And I haven't really been in the mood to like put on a full face of makeup. So I've been cutting a few steps or um, pretty much I guess doing my makeup like I used to do when I didn't have a newborn and just wanted to save some time. So the products that I already have on my skin right now are the Cetaphil um, Wash. I wear the uh, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It just works for me. I just grab like a tiny bit of it and just dab it on my um, dab it on my face. And um, again, this is the baby one. It just works for me. And I put a little bit of the Argon Oil. This is the Josie Marin oil. So I just put it on on a few spots wherever I have a little bit more dryness than in others. And I also put on this. I've been using the Mario Badescu, the lip wax. What is it? Lip wax. It's just like a, like a chapstick. But it's so moisturizing. I forgot why I stopped using it. But um, serious. Like if you guys haven't tried it, you have got to like just at least check it out. Um, again, it's the Mario Badescu, 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 and, um, you can find these products, well, I got them at Ulta, I don't know where else, and that's it. It's really worn out. It's a little bit old, it really faded off, but, um, it's friggin' amazing. I used to put on just a tiny bit of this eye cream, and it's from Shiseido, and it's the anti-wrinkle 24-hour um, yeah, the 24 hour wrinkle resist and just a tiny bit because I am a little, well my skin is on the drier side so I just like to keep it moisturized. The last thing that I put on my face, like the very last step, is this SPF from Clarence and it's amazing. Um, it's actually an SPF of 40 but when you put it on it's not like um, too thick or it's just, it just, it just glides on so great. And it feels like you're not wearing like any sunscreen, no smell, nothing like that. So it's pretty awesome. I actually filmed. Uh, I filmed. Um. Um. Ugh. What? What do you freaking call it? I think this has to do with pregnancy. I just forget. To, oh no, wait. That's when you're pregnant. Um. A review. I filmed a review on it. And um, I was having problems with my laptop and I started erasing files like here and there. And of course, when I go back to my iMovie, the video is gone. I filmed like, it was already edited. It was like ready to go and it just got deleted. I think I'm going to film another one. I'm going to film another review just because I love this product so much. It's like the best SPF I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot because I've been wearing SPF for years and I've tried several. This is awesome. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and apply is bleh, God damn, the Amazonian Tarte Foundation and 12 hour full coverage. It's been working really good for me. What I do is use the um, Real Techniques uh, brush, buffing brush and I just put it on straight on my brush. I'm not sure how you guys apply your foundation, but I just put a little bit on the brush like that and uh just start like buffing it in and I really like this foundation I don't need full coverage really but I mean it doesn't it's a little thicker than what I usually have been wearing which is the um, the Chanel Vitalomir Aqua it's it is thicker than obviously than the Chanel Vitalomir Aqua which is like my favorite ever but um this one just works well and you get coverage a little quicker you don't have to put like two coats on um like with the chanel um it's really awesome and i'm not sure how you guys put your makeup on like what steps but i mean some people do their eye makeup first other people do their eyes first i tried to do the eyes first for a while and it just it didn't work for me I just like how my eye makeup looks once like my face is done, my foundation and my blush, not eye blush, but once my foundation is on. Okay, so now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Bobbi Brown Corrector and I'm going to go ahead and put this under my eyes. 
and I'm going to use my fingers um, to apply a little bit. And I bought this concealer a few weeks ago. And I really like it. It's a great concealer. But I'm still in love with my Amazing Cosmetics um, concealer. I'm not sure if you guys have tried this. I just feel it really makes my eyes like pop. Like it really brightens under, um, under here. And I like that look. I mean, if you like that look... I need to look awake especially right now <laughs> but this one is also pretty awesome okay so now that that's done um, next step is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Mac the NW29 W29 NW25 um, concealer and I use it with where is my brush with this tiny little brush and it's from um, the Pixie Woo sisters Real techniques. Oh, my baby's crying. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my tiny little brush. It's like really small. Um, inside and it's like right at the tip and cover like any spot. And God knows I have a few. I've been using the NARS blush and Outlaw like every single day. I really love it. I'm using the Bobbi Brown uh, blush brush and this is the color. So just put a little bit on the brush. Now for lips, I'm going to apply the um, gloss from Chanel. This is in the color Mirage. And again, it's just, I'm trying to keep it simple. The last thing I'm going to go ahead and put on is the Voluminous Million um, Lashes. And I want to say this is from L'Oreal. Actually, oh, I have a hair on my face. I don't know from where. Probably from my brush. So that's all. Um, this is pretty much how I do my makeup, how I've been doing my makeup lately. And whatever I have to do, pick up my three-year-old um, from school or go run some errands or go to the market or whatever. Um, usually I'll do something like this and it's just really quick. I don't have eyeshadow. I just have a little bit of blush, um, foundation. Um, Nothing too crazy. Sometimes I'll just hold my hair up in a uh, ponytail. Um, but um, that's all I do. And I'm just, I just want to look a little put together. I mean, I just, I know I just had a baby and I shouldn't care. But I want to at least try to look a little nice just because it does make me feel a little better. I don't know, it's weird. Um, but anyways, this is how I will look on a regular day. I don't know if you think it's too much makeup. I actually don't think it's too much i mean i did it pretty quick um if you have any questions please let me know and um i think that's pretty much it and i will see you next time bye